Catching a musk ox is not an easy job, and the wolves must be careful and clever. They need to nip at the animals and still avoid their hoofs and their horns. But when the wolves get close, the musk oxen must stop, group together, and face them. They continue to harass the musk oxen until one begins to run. When a herd panics, it gives the wolves a chance to attack without so much fear of being injured. Both predator and prey have to rest frequently, and skirmishes like this may go on for hours. If the herd is healthy, a few such skirmishes will tell the wolves that it's time to give up and go on to others. for 45 minutes and then took off for another five mile jaunt. We knew right away that the next encounter would be an interesting one. This herd had at least three calves and it is the calves that the wolves seek out during the summer. see that it was the alpha pair that led the charge down to the herd. One of the more interesting aspects was to see the different personalities of the wolves. How I got to know them back at the den was one group of wolves, and what I saw in front of me seemed to be a different group of wolves. They, they truly became killing machines. separated out a calf from the herd and the calf's mother decided to go on in the safety of the group. It's hard to know where to look because the rest of the pack tried to separate out a second calf. First calf, the alpha male clings to a hind leg. Even with the whole pack on its head, it took about five minutes for the calf to go down. Three tense hours on the tundra plain, Dave and Jim witness a scene older than mankind. The alpha pair takes possession of the carcass, even though the whole pack was in on the kill. 